Hallelujah. God bless you, beloved. Uh, Pastor Lagbon Segosa remains my name. And uh, this is Palm Tree Global TV. If this is your first time of uh, seeing any of my video, please uh, do help me share. If you're watching it via the YouTube, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, and please click the notification button. So whenever I upload any video, you'll be notified. You know, one thing I used to see in this channel, any video I post, if it's not important to you, it could be important to somebody else. If it's not helpful to you, it could be helpful to somebody else. Because any of my video, whichever video you see, has a reason. And the reason is for somebody if it's not for you. So, God bless you. Let's go to the business of today. Um, I began a, a series a couple of um, um, weeks now. Yeah, where I said I'm going to be teaching 10 different kind of business you will do. And um, you start with 20,000 naira at the end of the month. There's possibility of you having 100 and above. And um, I think having 100,000 monthly at the end of the year, you should be 1 million richer. So becoming a millionaire is as easy as the few steps I'm going to be teaching uh, today. I started a video, this is the second video, and um, I know it's going to be a blessing to somebody. One thing I have learned to know, I'll give you this, this one is just a bonus in this video. Child of God, in case you don't know, before you get a car, please, if that car is not going to be giving you money, get a land first. Yes, get a land first. Um, in my recent uh, research, I've understand that the best time to get a land cheaper in a... Um, Specifically, let me use a do state as a as a case study. Getting a line in a do state, the best time to get it cheaper is within the festive period, within the December, maybe from December uh, 15, you know, to get to the uh, January 15. Within this couple of days, you get land cheap in a do state. Now let me tell you one thing you must know because the year is coming to an end already in less than two weeks from now we should be finishing this year now many of us we have um, our yearly plans you write all manner of things this is what you're going to do by this year this is going to do by this year uh, right now as i speak with you now the 2021 is about finishing but it will surprise you that you've not gotten 20 percent of what you wrote down at the beginning of the year why i will tell you two barriers number one barrier if you are writing what is above your capacity what is above your income achieving it will become difficult i like dreaming big but in, in dreaming big you should also have it in back of your mind that you're going to also work big to achieve your big dream the scripture told us that who is it that's going to be a toward that will not first write down the cost you need to understand that so barrier number one that makes so many persons, I'm coming to business, you know, I want to teach you business today, but let me give you some barriers. Because the year is coming to an end, I want to beg you. When you want to write what you're going to do by the end of the year, write the things that is within your capacity. Imagine your income monthly is 100,000 naira. By the end of the year, it should be 100, uh, 1.2 million. If you don't have any source of income, inside this 1.2 million, you buy your food, your shelter, your clothes, you know, family giving or whatever as, it, as the case may be. So at the end of the year, you'll be left with nothing less than 700, 800. So that should, you should plan your life within this circle first. I understand the power of miracle. I understand the power of help and assistance. But with what you have, start with what you have. That is one number one barrier. Planning or writing what is above your income is a barrier. Getting it will become difficult. There are number two barriers that make many people not to achieve what they have within the year, what they wrote down, they're going to achieve. Number two barrier is distraction. Distraction is a barrier. Now, what is distraction? Imagine you want to write, by 2022, um, I'm going to buy um, a car worth 9 million. I'm going to build a house worth 15 million. I'm going to build um, a shopping mall, whatever, that worth 120 million, as the case may be. It is beautiful. But look at what will make some persons to be to not to achieve it. They are pursuing the car, 
they are pursuing the supermarket, they are pursuing the building. So, and the source of the income, after they have shared it in all this Dalmatian, discover that they will have a bottom project. None is completed. Finish one before you start another one. Finish one before you start another one. May God bless you in Jesus. And please don't forget, December is the best period of time to get a sheep land. Very, very, very. You know, many people want to return money to a meeting. Some, do you know that person, some persons can sell their property because of alcoholic and rice and maybe clothes. Come on, don't do that. So if you want the best time to buy a land, I will tell you for free because 2022 is going to start soon and going to finish soon. Plan your life around it. By December, you're going to buy a land by December 2022 with 200,000 naira you can get a land in this nation, in this city. Most time people are looking for center of ring road to buy. No. Go to that place that is not developed. That undeveloped community, go there and buy. Buy and start um, developing it. Mm. Before you know what's happening, three years will come. The land you bought for 200 will be worth uh, by a million plus. For sure. So, every December is an opportunity to get a land. If you already have money in your pocket, you already have 300,000, 400,000, that is a huge money. Please look for undeveloped com community that is developing. Go and patronize them. Get a land from them. And you will thank me later. All right, quick, quick one. As we begin this series, um, we'll be taking a very, um, maybe much time on this video, uh, whichever it is, and God will help us. So last uh, week, I, I talked about some business you can start with um, 20,000 naira, where you'll be making up to 200,000 within the, uh, 100,000 within the month. Uh, I talked that, you can check it from my YouTube channel, Palm Tree Global TV, Palm Tree Global TV. You can see the video there. And this one is coming up again. Shout out God, do you know that little plus little equals to plenty? Don't despise the little beginning the scripture told us. There are too many businesses you can do in this nation, in this city, that will be fetching you little, little money. You that is sitting at home doing nothing. 2021 is about to end. Please, don't start 2022 like that. Don't depend on the government. Never you depend on the, on the government. Never you depend on your certificate. If your certificate cannot help you, Please use technology. Use certificate. Most of us, we are graduated from, from different um, higher institutions. Um, some persons are not work, they are working with their certificate. Some are not working with their certificate. But I will tell you for free, self-employed is a high paid job. Is that big or small? There is one business I that is a, a, a town now. Uh, people are trivializing it. Some women trivialize it. Some youth trivialize it. And this is a business, even male and female, you can do it. Roasting of coconut. Mm -hmm. It sounds so funny. It sounds so crazy. It sounds so silly. Whichever way you want to take it. Roasting of coconut. Listen, child of God. Coconut has come and stay. It's a business that is really, really productive. It's a business that is really, really paying. And it will take you nothing less than 5,000 to establish this business. I said you can start with 20,000. But I will tell you, roasting of cocoa yam, this business that is high paying. You can do this business anywhere, within the city, outside the city. But it's mainly good in an environment where you have big people, big rich men. Roasting of cocoa yam. During my research, I, I, I was opportune to meet some persons and I asked them, what is their benefit in doing this business it will surprise you one of them told me he said with the roasting of coco yam she has been able to school two of her children in higher university in higher institution in university and she has been able to take a, a, a plot of land and she has laid a foundation she has started building gradually he said now they are paying astrid eating well with the help of roasting of coco yam and this is a business you can start with less than five thousand you can start with ten thousand you can start with twenty thousand depending on how you want to start it now, I asked another person, and he told me he just started the business recently, not too long. And he has been able to buy a Woody um, car for the husband to be getting money, to be uh, using to work and get money for them, added to the one they have already. And I asked her, maybe I will put a video here, because I during the interview, 
Maybe I'll put the video up here. Maybe I'll put the video up. And she said, I like doing Kokoyam business. I asked her, what were you doing before now? He said she was a teacher. But the money they were paying her in the teaching business was a private school anyway. The money they were paying her was not enough. But ever since she started roasting Kokoyam, she had been doing well. Now, instead of you to sit at home doing nothing, get Kokoyam and be selling it. Roast it and sell. There's a place I buy. They are even putting skis. They will package Kokoyam for you as if they are packing fast food. You buy Kokoyam, they put some pepper sauce. There's a roasted fish as well attached to it. If you attach the fish, your money goes up. You know, they will package it for you. If you need a, 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 a um, takeaway and a spoon, depends, depending on you, if you want it like that, there's a fake. She will put the fake for you. Is it fake or fuck? She will put it. Now, Kokoyam, child of God, is a business that you would like to do and you will enjoy it. Another business, again, is the fruit business. Fruit business. Selling of uh, um, watermelon, orange, um, um, cucumber, um, pawpaw, coconut, just like that. With 20,000 naira, child of God, you will start this. I am telling you for sure. I am telling you, you don't need, you don't need professional to put you through with this. If you are looking on how to get any of this product, just message me. I will tell you the market where you can buy them. For free. You are not paying a dime for that. Selling of fruits. Selling of fruit. You can do it in any junction, anywhere. You don't need to, to rent a hall. No. All you need to get is just a table and a chair. If you want to sit down, you can sit, you can stand. It is as simple as, as I am saying it. Selling of fruits. This thing I'm telling you, maybe I also put a video or the picture up. I have a very good friend. This is what he do for a living. And the, 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 the funniest part of it all is this. Recently, he employed somebody. Selling of fruit, selling of orange, garbage, cucumber, coconut, just like that, like that. He also employs somebody. Now, how much, I ask him, how much are you getting that you'll be paying this person 25000 uh, per month? He said, man, this business, if I had knew, I would have started long ago. It's a graduate anyway. So, man can do this business. Woman can do this business. Boy can do this business. Girl can do this business. Selling of fruit. You don't need to hawk it. If you want to hawk, no problem. There are some of them, they, 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 they put it in the park. You know, they put it in the park, they'll be hawking it. Beautiful. If you have the market, no problem. But if it is a junction, you are there. People will come and patronize you. You don't need to start in the morning. You can start in the evening. Evening business. Some of you, you can add this one to your business, to your source of income. Those of you who are teaching, those of you who are drivers. No, driver can't do that because you need to drive and, you know. Those of you who have that job that doesn't take much of their time. In the evening, by 5 o'clock, you shade. By 7, 7, 30, 8, it depends on your environment. 9, you go, uh, you go back uh, home. In the morning, you have free time to do other things. Selling of fruits is very, very uh, um, lucrative, very, very important, very, very pain. It's pain, I'm telling you. Another business that people, what I'm saying, that people trivialize it. Another kind of business I also teach you here today is selling of vegetable, slicing vegetable. You don't need professional for this. You don't need, even you die selling fruit, you can have vegetable to yours if you want to. Selling of vegetables. With small money, you can start this business. With 20,000, you can start this business. Little plus little equals to a Don't stay at home. Stop staying at home. Don't be, oh, uh, being an idle person is a sin. I will tell you for free. Get busy with yourself. Get busy with yourself. Establish yourself. This money you are spending for mineral and all unnecessary things, save them and start business with it. Now, there's another big goal I want to tell you. This one, I know somebody who is doing this business. This person I'm telling you, both male and female, who is doing this business, I will tell you for free. This one, not I, I did not only go to interview, I went to see the proof. The persons have gotten three houses. Three houses. Those of you who have built, you know what it takes to build a house. You know what it even if it's three solid houses 
the three houses one of them is two flat completed the other one is four bedroom um, um, uh, bungalow completed the other one is self self contained into three one room self contained into three finished finished when I say finished fully built and there are tenants in it what is the business? Akara very simple very 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 simple she's not hawking it she's doing this business in a very busy place you can do it in your junction akara is it difficult to do no is it expensive to start no and most time if you are doing this business akara you before you know what's happening it's called a uh, beans cake i don't know what they call it but akara please manage it like that akara that's the name i can call it i think uh, beans cake maybe you if you want to learn this thing from somebody with without you paying a dime they can teach you without you paying a dime they will teach you for free i'm telling you akara this person what look at what she she's doing she says akara she include um um uh what's it agidi yes in my tribe we call it akasa she include it she include bread and I ask her, how do you get money to buy all those, this plenty bread? He said, no, they will bring it for me. I will sell, take my profit and give them their money, their capital. I say, are you for real? He said, yes. He said, the only thing I buy my money here is the beans and the oil. He said, sometimes my customer knows me, they can give me a, a full gallon for credit. If I do, that was how she started before she became um, established. In this Akara business that she's doing for free, she learned it. Now she has employed about six people working for her. Six solid people. What are you doing at home, beloved? See, 2022 will start soon and it will end soon. Get busy with your life. Get busy with yourself. This person I know that is frying a I know a young boy, graduate, who is frying a car. During one of my business class, uh, we attended the class and I, I gave him a... Um, IQ on that, and he have started the business. He called me the other time. He sent me a card of 10,000 naira, a charge card of 10,000 say, thank you, sir. Thank you for this wisdom. Many of us, we are sitting at home folding our hands. Hey! If somebody is hungry, he does not need prayer. He needs food. If you are broke, you don't need to run up and down. Look for something doing. The scripture said, what I made you do, I will bless. I will bless the works of the hand. Please, the other one you can do this one is also important it pays it pays frying of bones is everywhere is everywhere but do you know that the market is too big for if all of us on this earth we are all selling we will still make profit selling of bones you make the bones fry the bones by yourself as you fry bones, you fry fish. Those of us, people like us, I don't know if you, you know, you are, you are um, so foreign. Mm. Once you use fish, they shove bones. <laughs> use fish, they shove bones. Oh my God. It's a good business. Selling of bones. Please, don't underestimate this business. This was I am telling you, don't underestimate any of them. With 20,000 naira, you can start any of this business. With as low as 20,000 naira, you can start it. I am telling you for free. Monthly, you will get 100,000 and above. Because during my research, I took my time. And I began to, I began to interview people who I know is doing this business. When they give me the statistics, when they give me the profit, they, they, they measure the amount they are making um, um, daily, weekly. I was amazed. So, child of God, I want to beseech you. I'll stop this video here. By the grace of God, I'll, um, I'll continue because I don't want it to be too long. I'll continue in some other time. I'll finish it. I want to give you tw uh, 10 business. But listen, don't be idle. Don't be idle. Do you know that going to community, fetching water for some persons is a business? Fetching water. Water. 
giving people water in sight. There are some, there are some sites you go, no borehole, no, no tap. And you, you that is watching this video, there is tap in your house. You have a bike, or you have a a, a, a vehicle, and you are complaining. No business, so I don't know about that. There is a borehole in your house. Even there is no borehole, there is a borehole around you. It's a good business. Fetching of water and the, the place you are. Just write it outside. Fetch your water here for beauty. People will beg you to fetch water for them. You will not even have a chance to eat. Fetch for me here, fetch for me here, fetch for me here. Give me three buckets. Give me, you can put a drum. Put a drum there. This one, though, it needs a, a, a little step up. A little step up of finance. But do you know how much they pay? That tanker, that big tanker, um, this um, is this 60 liter they call it. This one, the one that what a tanker and the one put on top of a um, station. Somebody fetch it for me. I think on Tuesday he collected. You know how much he collected? That food drum, that uh, I don't know what it's called. That black one. He fetch it full. He collected eight thousand naira. I paid eight. Thousand naira. As he was fetching mine for eight thousand, the question is, ah, which did they go fetch and full? Or God, what did they do for us? Which did they go fetch and full? Start time. He was using um bike. He put Jericho on top of the bike. He put one here, here. He put um, another one in the tank. He was fetching it with bike. Eventually finished. Another person started the same business recently. That one, that one is using keke. Keke na pe. He will put your account and I'll fetch it for you. You pay! That is their business. And I, can I tell you the truth? If you are able to... This young man who, is, who fetched for me a few days ago, let me tell you the gospel truth. At times, he do fetch for five persons. As early as possible, he has started fetching it. As early as possible, he has started fetching it. So please, I want to beg you. Stop being idle. Lazy man. No food for you. 